it's Sick Boy from the Gaming Analyst Collective, and I just want to do a quick breakdown of some of the issues people have been experiencing with Windows 10, because some of this shit is a bit fucking worrying. Okay, first of all, um, I'm going to do this briefly, to be honest, I'm not going to go into all the details, so I will put as much detail as I can in the description field below, so go ahead and peruse. Now, first off is the Wi-Fi sharing option, which is set by default if you do an express installation. You can do a custom insula installation and opt out of this Wi-Fi sharing system. What this does is whenever you log into something, it will take your passwords and login and what have you, and for your own personal network, it will share that information with everybody who has Windows 10 within your contacts. It will also uh, log you in automatically into hotspots. So it's a convenience measure, and some of it seems kind of positive, but the negative idea that the fact that it's going to just automatically connect you to hotspots as and when it detects them, it's a little bit worrying. I don't like that being taken away from me. I also don't like my data being taken and encryptedly sent across Skype and across Facebook to my contacts just to make it easy to log into my home Wi-Fi. That seems a little bit worrying. Now, you can, if you change your network name and end it with underscore opt out, you actually, your Wi-Fi will not be registered with Windows for this server, it won't, it won't detect it. So that's probably worth, it's worth looking into as well because I have heard some people saying that the reports are somewhat false and they're somewhat misleading and right now it's a little bit emergent but I just want to make you guys aware that if you're going to do this, you're going to go with an express installation, just be aware that this Wi-Fi sharing system is there and set by default with an express installation the description of how to turn that off will be in the description field if you went ahead and did an express installation. Otherwise, you can turn it off with a custom one. A couple of other issues, uh, other than the stability issues that people have experiencing, but that's, that is kind of standard with an OS and with software not being optimised to it. I'm not really going to harp on, on that. That is kind of expected. However, there are some issues. Um, malware. It's malware. There's actually advertising getting pumped through through Windows 10. That really fucking bothers me. And the thing that really, really bugs me is their EULA. Now, with regards to their privacy, uh, what they're going to take is name, email address, that's kind of standard, uh, internet browsing history, what files you're looking at, the data of the files you're accessing, the software you're using to access the files, how long you access them for. So part of this, they can say, obviously, they're looking for... Um, optimizing the software, making sure there's no lag or anything, if it's coming not responsive, they're going to pick that up. That's kind of interesting, but as, as long as that, they're also going to take any mess any text messages, any um, message you send across using Windows, and phone calls. This also includes the Windows phone. So they're going to take your, they're going to record your voice and your, te and your SMS messages, and they're going to utilize them, uh, the voice messages for improving their voice, voice recognition, but also who knows what the hell else they're going to be using or selling it for. I wouldn't be surprised if they had some backdoor contract with some of the likes of the CIA in order to provide this information. Why wouldn't they? Why the hell wouldn't they? I'm sorry, this is some shifty looking shit. Be very cautious before you take this free automatic upgrade. The EULA seems shifty as fuck. Not happy with this Wi-Fi sharing system. I can see why they've gone for that, but... Eh. Makes me, yeah, uh, makes my arsehole twitch a fair bit. Anyway, so I get this out there and share it again. I've put the information in the description field. Have a look at it and peruse and make an informed decision before you change your OS. And um, you know, uh, Linux, bitch.